On Friday, local authorities said that the Peruvian indigenous group will release an estimated 150 tourists. It held for over a day in a protest over alleged government inaction on oil spills in a river. The indigenous group had held the tourists, which included a handful of US and European nationals, to raise awareness about the oil spillage, according to local media. The chief of indigenous group confirmed the agreement to local media group RPP. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets in Amman on Friday in a show of solidarity with Palestinians in the occupied West Bank. The protest was also organized to deny the bail for declaration, Britain's 105-year-old promise to Zionists to create a Jewish home in Palestine. About 800 protesters chanted slogans against Zionists and praised the Palestinian resistance to Zionist occupation. Four days after Brazilian presidential election, supporters of Bolsonaro remain in the streets protesting and calling for the military to step in to avoid the leftist government of president-elect Lula da Silva. Hundreds stood outside the Rio de Janeiro's Eastern Military Command building on Thursday, days after the electoral authorities declared a nail-biting victory for former leftist president da Silva over far-right incumbent Bolsonaro. Pope Francis held an ecumenical meeting and prayers for peace at Our Lady of Arabia Cathedral in Bahrain on Friday. On his first full day in the Middle Eastern state, Francis held the service at the largest church on the Arabian Peninsula and one of the two churches serving Bahrain's Catholic community of about 160,000 people.